Hello and welcome to a Jaren 134 video. I'm Jaren and this is a Windows 7 overview. One of the new features in Windows 7 is that the sidebar for the sidebar gadgets no longer exists in Windows 7 such as it did in Windows Vista. Now you can place the gadgets anywhere you want on the desktop screen just by right clicking, selecting gadgets and you're greeted with the gadgets menu. In the gadgets window, you can drag out and use any gadget you want and place them all over the screen. Gadgets can be placed wherever you want them, but if you prefer the way that Windows Vista sidebar did the gadget, you can put them back and dock them the same way that it was in Windows Vista without the sidebar. One of the next big features in Windows Vista is that the Show Desktop feature has been baked into the taskbar. In previous versions of Windows, you would right-click the taskbar and go up to sh Show the Desktop. In Windows 7, you move down to the end of the screen and hover the mouse over the rectangular shape at the end, and you'll see right through your window to the Desktop. The redesigned Start menu no longer shows the Sleep and lock pad in Windows 7, such as it did in Windows Vista. In Windows 7, you're now shown a shutdown button, or you can move over to the drop off menu and select any of the other things you want to do. The next thing in Windows, Windows 7 is the redesigned control panel. When you first open Control Panel, you're greeted with it like this. This is the way that you're probably normally used to seeing it if you're used to using Windows Vista. But one of the new features added to Windows 7 not found in Windows Vista is that when you go to Category, you can get a drop-down menu which shows you large or small icons. And if you pick one of the two, you're greeted with every item found in the Control Panel, such as you are in Vista. But in this version, they're no longer uh, draggable move around icons, they're now list, listed groups of, I, of tasks that you can do in the control panel. Another new thing in Windows 7 is the redesigned personalization window. In personalization, you're now greeted with a new way to use themes and wallpapers and screensavers and sounds. Now that you can cl now you click desktop background at the bottom of the screen and you're greeted with it the same way you are in Vista. But this time in Windows 7 you're able to get more options for how the wallpaper will fill the screen. The other new thing about wallpapers in Windows 7 that was not found in Windows Vista is that when you select several wallpapers as I'm doing here, you can choose for them to change every however often you want and you can shuffle them if you choose to. One of the more obvious new features in Windows 7 is the way that the taskbar has been redesigned to show only the icons of open programs. No longer do you get the icon of a program and its name out beside it. Now it's just the icon. And one of the more new and interesting features of the redesigned taskbar is that when you have a program open, you're able to hover over the program's icon and see all the open tasks or windows associated to that program. And that's pretty much the basics for Windows 7. So thanks for watching this video, and I hope.